Thirty Two, it's your boy King Sason. I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, as you always watch full video. Howie Bailey is being called a bad mom because DDG is around the baby more than her. Also, people are mad that Howie Bailey let Halo continue crying. What was she? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, so you know, I try to get, let the video play a little bit, but that's crazy, bro. Like, he posts videos more. He posts skits and and, uh, and all that, and TikToks and and Snapchat more. How do y'all know when somebody is around that kid or not? If y'all not with them twenty four hours a day, how do y'all know this? How 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 you don't know if the video that that he's posted on Instagram may be days old? She probably had the baby with her twenty four hours for seven days. He posted oh, five videos. Oh, he got the baby more. How do you know this? Y'all are not there. And far as crying go, you got to do that. You cannot be sitting there babying your baby. I mean, it is a baby, but you can't. If you, it's a, it, look, <laughs> I'm not a parent, so I might be wrong. But let me know because hey, I've seen this. This how most parents raise their kids. You got to let them cry so therefore they can, you know, learn to get over it. Learn to stop uh, crying for you every single second for every single thing when there's nothing wrong when you when they just kicking it because sometimes baby will just cry because they know that's that's the only way to get your attention what supposed to do take him out the car seat that's illegal here's what ddg had to say but now he thinks that every time he'll yell like this he can get his way yeah like he can't do it exactly i've been wanting to say this because i be seeing a lot of people, you know, say stuff like, DDG always with the baby. DDG don't let Hallie see the baby, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Hallie just way more private than me. I know I'd be on social media all day. This is my bread and butter slash life. So I do this all the time. I am with him a lot, but Hallie is with him, like, all the time. All the time. Like, he's an influencer. She's an actor. Influencers stay on social media that's an extra piece of their bread time so you know i just want to make sure y'all give her her parenting because she's an amazing mother she does great with him she came up with the braids was my idea i did the lining though she can't have the lining mm -hmm. she dressed them today she bought him the nemo and she made his bottle she just had to go to a meeting. So I got him right now. Jay Sinkle's new girlfriend, Bella, was exposed for talking to Jay Sinkle and another dude at the same time. Supposedly someone found a video of Bella and another dude and they were saying that it happened recently, but the dude Jordan came out and said that wasn't recently, that was back in July. Now he did admit that he was talking to Bella back in July, but then he found out about Jay Sinkle through Jay Sinkle's YouTube video. So he decided to cut her off because he thought that him and Bella was gonna be together. In my opinion, back in July, Bella wasn't with Jay Sinkle or the dude as far as a relationship. So she could do what she wants. Jay Sinkle recently just facts because then he say he said in a video like they was they wasn't I don't think he said that they was dating but he was sending her flowers basically trying to get with her in that moment bro like some people don't feel like if, if we're not heavily committed into this dating part I, I don't gotta be loyal to you I don't gotta just talk to you if we're locked in into this to this day moment to this talking stage yeah that's different but if we're not if we talk here and there once in a while every other week every few days i'm gonna do me Ask Bella to be his girlfriend. Now, this would be considered cheating, but back in July, if the last time she spoke to the dude was July 9th, that's not cheating. But like I told y'all in the previous video, Jay Sinkle's supporters want him to be single. They don't want him to be with Bella. Jordan, the other dude Bella was talking to said, I think they be trying to break them up, bro. They be trying to find some way to break them up, bro. I think that's what it is. It's like, it's like, yeah, I jumped off the she's a gold digger to now, oh, she was, she was dating you and dating somebody else. When, like, like, like she just posted right there, he says, I surprised my crush. Crush. Not girlfriend. Crush. 
Basically, when, when it comes to today's, today's people, when they come to you know, today's relationship, me personally, if you <laughs> you my crush, and again, if we're heavily locked in to this dating stage, yeah, it better not be nobody else. It better not be nobody else, but if we're not, do you, I'm going to do me. It's just how people look at girls. You know, it's a double standard. Even though we don't want it to be, it's a double standard world. So, therefore, and again, they're trying to find some way, some way possible to make her leave or to make him leave her. They're like, bruh, this is too quick to jump onto another region to be hating. This is too quick. I mean, I knew about Seiko Ish before we was done talking. He bought her them lashes and she came to be with me. We were supposed to go to Miami, but I found out about the whole being on YouTube ish. So it was basically a dub after that. Jay Seiko said behind the scenes for a couple of months now, he's been talking to Bella. So he's been having a good time with a whole bunch of girls. She has every right to have a good time and have a free trip to Miami with another dude if she's not tied down to anybody. The dude even said, I don't understand how y'all got that video and y'all tried to twist it. Because he wasn't mad. He said it was a dub. He took the L. What are we talking about? Queen of Glare's supposed to video title it's been six years how well do you know me now if clarence ain't gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest i love queen but she don't know what the fuck she wants. i'm pretty sure throughout the years clarence probably has some envision of what he wanted to do and how he wanted to propose to queen and queen keeps changing it like i could see her watching different movies about weddings or proposals and stuff and she's like oh i want to do that oh i want to do that oh let's go here now keep in mind queen's dream trip was to go to mexico now she wants to go to italy is he supposed to propose Pose in Mexico when now she says she wants to go to Italy? Now he's like, damn, let me hold the ring because now she don't even give a F about Mexico now that we going. Let me hold the ring to Italy. If it was up to Clarence, they would have went to the courthouse. They would have been married. But Queen is a celebrity and of course people are going to want to know how Clarence asked her. And was it romantic? Was it something that she wanted? Was it her dream? I was stressed watching the video. I'm like, what? Y'all leave me your comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Carmen admit on live that Corey did file for divorce a month ago. Corey did post up the divorce papers with Carmen's address, which Carmen was pissed. What's so hard about you signing the documents that was already created? You said I have no ways to get you these papers and I'm capping, but what this look like? I'm tired of this girl trying to keep up with this social media image because this is the only way she can vibe in the United States. I don't give a F about nothing you talking about, Carmen, and I don't want to meet up with you, shorty. Chill with that narrative. Your lawyer can meet up with me. I don't give a F. Sign these papers and I won't speak on you at all. You can put on for these fans all day, but I'm more focused on you signing these papers and detaching my name. All this woman do is lie and play victim. And I guess because she's a female, y'all want to take her side. Man, I can give two Fs about this girl speaking on how she's a sex toy to the industry now. You're going to keep dragging this situation and people are going to really start seeing the truth about you. Now tell your lawyer, whoever they are, let's get these papers signed. I want a divorce from you. Simple. I know for a fact you received the papers the first time. I got this from the court yesterday. Stop playing with me. On the paperwork that Corey showed, it doesn't show that Carmen was served or that it was certified mail. He has to show that particular document. This is just the divorce paper saying that he did file it and that these are his options. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Carmen did respond because she was upset. She said, let me say this one more time. I never in my life received ish from nobody for me to sign because believe me, I would have been signed like yesterday. All right, boom, my fake lawyer's been guiding me on everything. I'm not just going to do whatever because you want it. LOL, no, sir. I'm wasting. You're like, bro, I got to like, Again, like I've been saying from day one, talk to the lawyers, bro. Like, all this bickering back and forth, all this doing is stirring up drama. And at the end of the day, it's like, if it, if it was just them and no kids was involved, hey, it would be what it, whatever. Hey, do, do y'all. Keep on arguing. Keep giving us the content that, for us to watch and for us to uh, react to. But it's kids involved, bro. The kids are in there. They're not infants. To the point where by the time they get, you know, in middle school, these videos will be history. No. They they at an age to where when they get there, these videos are gonna still be somewhat trending. Their classmates are gonna see these smarter than what you dumbass think. Boom, you so effing stupid that you really forgetting a lot. Like, stop crying to the internet and handle ish the right way. But when I say I'm the one doing it for social media, every time someone knew something was because of your mouth. Leave me alone. What needs to be signed and done will be done. Trust me and believe me when I say I don't want to be attached to no...
dude that can't even provide for his kids you a joke so y'all leave comments down below when it comes to that carmen also said that corey's raffle is a scam supposedly the winner that won corey's truck he was never a part of the original raffle he called corey a couple of days before the raffle was supposed to end and he said he wanted to give him twenty thousand dollars up front in his old school car corey did some kind of scamming thing to make it seem like he won the raffle but really i ain't gonna lie that scam is hell bro especially for to let somebody come at the last minute bro and you got all these people paying that's cold he took the $20,000 in the old school truck and claimed that he was the winner. Now, the guy who won the truck did speak out and respond to Carmen, and he showed proof that he was a part of the raffle. He said, proof is in the pudding. I've been doing raffles with CJ on 32, Corey, and CJ so cool. I never won. This been going on for years. My government name is right there in my email address, and you can see I circle in yellow my name, my receipt for the $200,000 truck raffle. So miss me with that BS. I spent twenty dollars and it was legit. So stop saying y'all was scammed or asking for proof. Then y'all go now go share this carmen exposed Corey for sleeping with ft bay aka curly red during their marriage which curly red at the time did tweet in a mid that she did sleep with Corey. now it was a whole big thing that happened if you have not seen that video go on my main page and watch this video first so you can understand this video but curly red did speak out and here's what she had to say but talk about something that happened years ago nah i'm not doing it i'm not doing it damn i'm not gonna do it and the only reason why she's saying something now is because she's not with him now but when she was with him she had his back and she knew exactly what he was doing and what he was capable of and she laughed at me for being manipulated and lied to and vulnerable which i have messages of her saying that just for her to still stand there like you look dumb that's why she didn't say nothing before because you couldn't you couldn't say oh this is what just happened and you're still there like especially about when it's like what time this was and how they was all on social media trying to be a good perfect couple and all this type of stuff like it was a lie so you couldn't say anything a long time ago because you would look yeah that's what that's what anybody would do if you're going to stay you're not gonna the way she's talking now you're not gonna be talking that way if you're staying because you like you said you're gonna look dumb anybody would male female you're gonna look dumb if you're staying and you're trying to you're exposing why you're staying. <laughs> that looks hella crazy. Stupid. Everybody would have looked stupid. The whole situation was stupid. <laughs> so now you want to say something now when you're not with him no more. But don't be fake and phony when you still stood by him and you let him do certain stuff. You ain't stand on nothing. And talk about women empowerment and all that God stuff and this, that, and the third. Child, please. Child, child, please. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. If I don't know people and I don't know people from a can of paint, I can't tell y'all what I know. Just because people sit on the internet and y'all might have known people doesn't mean that I did. I don't sit on the internet. I don't know about people on YouTube. I only know what I went. I only know what I went. What I was told. And the thing about it was, both of them follow me on Instagram at the same time. Both of them wanted me to do a threesome with them i wasn't on that type of time i was told it was an open relationship i was told that the marriage wasn't really real it was just for citizenship because she was illegal i was told certain things that make me be like okay you know people in social media and in real life it'd be two different stories people be living fake lives on the internet and people be living different lives in real life i'm under the impression that this was something that was being done on the internet for views and money and that's how they made their money but in real life he do whatever he wants to do and she let him do it she stayed with him she don't want to leave him so he do whatever he want to do and pay all the bills and stuff and that's what it is and they all have a mutual understanding she knew about me everything's kaka kumbaya wow not saying it's true but we can't deny that she's lying or confirm that she's lying. That sound, boy, I could never. <laughs> so uh, I can't. I don't know. Like I don't. I can't. You just because yeah, people are lying don't mean I'm supposed to know. How am I supposed to know people is lying? Shoot, there was so much stuff that was going on that made me believe. Like, okay, yeah, this might be possible. It's probably as possible. I do know people that marry people for citizenship and their marriage ain't really what it is. There's no love there or anything oh, like that. Right. They just do it to do it. So I 
that's that situation is not um unknown like that's not a, a weird concept and i knew that this i knew she was illegal a long time ago before y'all did i knew that like, i was told this <laughs> so i mean i don't know like and then when i tried to unfollow them and leave the situation alone when i realized i'm being lied to and something's weird going on she got mad at me for unfollowing her like what do you mean i don't want nothing to do with y'all like so really she didn't tell all the story she just wanted to say whatever made her look good and kumbaya whatever cool but the whole purpose of that story i think was just to show that like if that's true it's like look when you know somebody has this type of dirt on you leave them alone <laughs> Leave them alone. This, if you know this person can come back with some some you know some crazy things about you, leave them alone. Do not poke the bear. Don't poke the bear. You feel me? Like I would have yeah, I would have left if, if that's true. If I was Carmen, I would have left her completely alone. I would have said nothing. Y'all was trying to have a three what that's crazy he's that type of person to threaten people and he did and he do and he puts out he tries to put out addresses and do a type of type of female stuff he do a lot of stuff i can sit here and talk all about this man but i'm not going to do that because i don't care <laughs> i don't care i could have spoke about this stuff a long time ago when it happened and i didn't because i ain't going to be associated with it sometimes stuff just be like yeah this is so lame um i don't even want nobody know about this i can take my i can take i can take my l's in peace he is not paying me. That's a dang lie. <laughs> that is what? That's all. I haven't spoken to them since this stuff happened. I ain't spoken to neither one of them since it happened. Once everything happened, everything was done with. It was done with. It over with. Moved on. And so, you know, like I said, she's only saying something now because she's not with him no more. So I guess she's just airing out his laundry. But she still sat there while he was doing all that stuff and didn't say nothing. She only wants to speak now. That's wild, though, bro. Yeah. If, again, if that's real, you should have left her alone.